You sound very detached from the people here. Do you care at all that they died? Do I? Sorry if it seems that way. I'm just in shock. It all happened so fast. I do care that they died. They're just more pressing matters at the moment. Uh, that's, that makes sense. You have any idea why the EIE attacked you? Why? I have no idea. We're just a band of scientists torturing and kidnapping people. I, I mean, uh, hell, I don't even know how they managed to find us. We are or were very secluded down here. Crop harvests? I doubt researching crops is worth hiding behind such security for. You're persistent, aren't you? Fine. If you want to know the truth, hear this. We've been working on this project around seven years. It involves modifying the DNA of humans to become immune to radiation. Basically, after being kicked out of California due to not caring enough about the welfare of subjects, we moved here to continue work. That's the short of it. And if I ask any more, you won't get anything from me. It was funded by a secretive branch of the government for a reason. Goodbye. I trust you'll come back soon with that information I needed. Watch out! You know what, Jennifer Lopez? I don't like the way you're singing. I wonder if I killed Jennifer. Please clear the area until order has been Whoa. restored. Jeez. Alright, this is, uh, what's her name? Got crushed. Hmm. Do you think that what we did made the NCR kick us out was right? Hmm. Alright. Louis Adams. Alright, so they got kicked out. Someone whistle blew. Lewis, we've been monitoring your uh, emails, and we noticed that the things you've discussed, you must understand that what is being done is for the greater good. Please refrain from discussing this further. We need everyone's head in the game. Thanks. Oh, Louis. Gotta watch out. Your stuff's being, being read, man. Alright, that's where we came in. Man, see what uh, movie they've got set up. If it's a good one, we can uh, sit and watch for a while. I'll turn the lights off, pour some wine and coffee. Perfect mixture. <laughs> yeah. The janitor's closet. Perfect. Alright, so Jennifer was saying she was going to turn the lockdown off or... Unlock one of the doors. Ooh. They took the clock off the wall. What a bunch of madmen. Hey, Jennifer, could you maybe, uh, open up the armory? That'd be great. Axe Manny. Hello, Jennifer. Oh, the camera winked at me again, Axe Man. Made in the USA. Well, I'm very proud about that. Axe Man, you want to take care of this? Oh, my God. Axe Man, your axe is invisible. <laughs> uh, what do you, what, uh... What Almighty weapon are you using? Have nothing to fear. Or is your axe Please just invisible? Into the open and identify yourself. Law it's me, the pizza scientist. And I've got an experiment with your mouth and some pepperoni. I'm gonna feed you my new pepperoni is what I'm trying to say. Man, plasma rifles. Just all around. Jeez. So many dead bodies. Oh, a test subject. All right. Jenny Grass. Seeing as logs are mandated here in the labs, I thought I'd start one. Just need to clear the air here. Just started experiments yesterday, and it's a damn sight harder than when we were in California. I don't have the staff. We're down from 
25 to 7, and it makes it pretty hard. I don't blame them, though. Most of them seemed keen on abandoning the project and serving their time. Kind of wish I did the same, but the potential in this project is too great. Anyway, got the first batch of subjects, and today they're heavily sedated, and no one's going to miss them, but I can't help but feel remorse. Aww. Setbacks, setbucks, and Starbucks. Hey, Log, it's been a while. How are you? I've seen you. I mean, what? It's been nearly three years. Jeez. Testing various solutions, combinations, and all other mixes in order to obtain properly reproducible results. Nothing. I'm going to consult the other staff to see if we can pool together our research and devise some kind of resolution to this to get this to work. Another edit log. This time is good news. After over four years of queries, testing, and working with the other staff, we have something upon injection of the serum into a human. Their DNA structure seems to shift and change, leading to an increase of 93% against radiation and subsequent mutation. Not ideal, but we're certainly getting there, I'd say, give or take four to five months. And then all hell broke loose, and the EIEIO boys came. You're Hello! Bye bye. Warning, hostiles in area. You want this one, or. Do you want it, or. You have like a tiny axe? What is going on? You have a tiny axe! Why is the axe so tiny? What happened? Why is your axe so tiny now? What happened? What is... Oh my... I don't understand how that even happened. Like a mod would have had to have done that. Axe Man's got a little adorable axe. That's hilarious. Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna switch sides. Get my little beret on. Here we go. Test results. Harry Murder. 169 records. Subject injected with solution. 63 muscle spasms. Resistance of 78%. Passed after 6 hours. Similar results. 8 hours. Blah 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 blah. Log saved due to inactivity. Oh, so they got it just in time. Previous subject injected with compound 193 and some and same solution. Results are amazing. With the ability to talk to snakes and levitate pencils with their mind. Oh, wow, that is impressive. Return to Yennefer. I'm going to be like, listen, Yennefer, I knew about it beforehand. I read Harry's logs. They told me everything I needed to know. It was the crier the whole time. Or she's gonna be dead. Uh... Ye Yennefer? Where the heck did she go? Damn it. Hmm. Elevator on level plaza unlocked. Oh, okay, that's the level. I know what that one is. August 8th, 2020, The idealism of Jack is starting to get on my nerves. I had my doubts about him when he voted against our resolution of kidnapping people in the Mojave. Even before in Cali, he was pushing about being gentle and considerate to the subjects we received. Now he keeps preaching to fellow staff about morality and freeing them. If he wasn't an executive like me, I would have fired him long ago. But that's fate, I suppose. We're stuck with the people we're stuck with. No matter, this project can't come to a close quickly enough. It does seem promising, but waiting seven years for something you're going to hoard for yourself and your friends, I'm not so sure. This can't be happening. Uh, alarms are lighting up all over the place about several intruders breaking in through the train tunnel. They're armed, and they're going to fight the robots. Damn it, I just got called to reception. Looks like I've got a meeting, too. I locked myself in here and sealed the bulkhead. That should keep them out. From the armor, these didn't seem to be raiders. It seems to match the description of what I've read about the EIE boys. It's all gone. God dang it. They went after the subjects in the lab. Killed them all. Looks like they're stripping all the data of the terminals there. Hell, the whole facility. They must be trying to delete it. Oh, man. Well, that's goofy. Don't do that. Don't just... That, you know, you gotta keep it, at least. With any luck, they killed that moron Jack. He was gonna get in the way in the end anyhow. Even if I can't recover the research here, it'll be great to have him out of my hair. Wait a second. It looks as if one of the subjects has gotten away. Its ship is still like, active. This might be my lucky break. I'll have to send out a message to the operatives active at the minute. I need them over here ASAP. 
Apparently my operatives didn't get in here in time. Instead, someone else came along. They weren't an operative. No idea who they were. They got here just in time and saved my life by stopping the bleeding. This is brilliant. They can serve as the perfect distraction by attacking the EIE while myself and the operatives can get away without a hitch. You son of a... Oh, I'm taking your lucky baseball mitt and... Ball. How could you do this to me, Jennifer? We were friends. I saved your life, you hussy. See, that's true hussy, everyone. True hussy. Oh, uh, we came... Okay, I get it. You know what? I want to see if we can uh, open that armory. Alright, I tried to get into the armory, but it was still locked with a key. So I don't know if we're coming back there later. Maybe that'll be like a reward at the end of the quest. Or I may have just missed a key, which is possible. They went to the big old building. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Or one, two, three, four. Crumbling building. Jennifer. Jennifer, I think you're in here, Jennifer. Three, two, one, three. All right, robots, I'm putting my gun away. Uh, I hit you with the door. Please step into the <laughs> open. Identify yourself. Law abiding. Should I think about you, robots? I don't even give you a chance to finish your uh, sentences. Good work, Axe Man, with your tiny, tiny axe. <laughs> oh! Jeez. Man, all right. Good thing I switched from the uh, scientist clothing. <laughs> My dick would have been charcoal by now. Uh, it's good old charcoal dick. Whoa! Jeez. Try to enjoy the water over here. Uh, There's nothing I like better than making pancakes in the morning. Whetstone. Hmm. Ah. Oh. All right. Almost to the top. Hey, buddy. <gasps> James Turner, Timmy Turner's evil brother. Hey, uh, where's uh, Wanda? And uh, what's his name? Hold it right there. My name's James Turner. Timmy Turner's brother. I don't know who you are or how you got in here, but you need to start talking fast, real fast. I don't have to answer to you. Relax, I'm just here scavenging. Whoa, whoa, put down the gun. I haven't come here to hurt you, man. Really? You're lucky I'm the trusting type. I'll take your word for it. Now, what'd you come here for? And don't tell me it's scavenging because you don't look the type. Stop, can you stop, look, stop looking down? Stop, look, my eyes are up here, buddy. I came here looking for the EIE, or at least its soldiers. Wait, how do you know about us? Our existence should be a secret to nearly everyone. Hell, how did you even know we were based here? I spoke to someone left alive in the facility you attacked. They led me to you. What? Someone was still alive down there? Where are they now? They died from blood loss. Uh, I saved their life, but when I got back to the room they were in, they vanished. You saved them? That's not good. Part of the mission is to kill everyone associated with the project. They'll need to be killed. That'll have to be resolved at a later date. Me and my fellow men have more pressing matters on our hands at the minute. That gives me an idea. What would you say to helping us? My commander would certainly reward you for it. Nice. All right, we get a choice, I think. Sure, I'd be glad to help. Where do we start? Sure, but only if I get paid first. That sounds good, but I'd rather kill you and your friends. I would help, but I'm leery about the EIE and what they do. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah. Oh, sure. I'd be happy to answer any questions. So, uh, who are you? Secret organization? 
Well, the long version of that is expunging impure elements. We're basically a small army that's dedicated to removing anything that would modify humans in such a way that differs from it how it was since the bombs is what I meant to say. Basically, we're here to ensure no one tamps with the gene pool and in doing so, preserving humanity. What are you doing? Me and 22 other soldiers were sent here on a mission to destroy that facility. We obviously had some setbacks. Short story is these scientists in the facility were doing experiments, trying to discover a miracle cure for radiation. Not only that, but they were kidnapping people to do it. The EIE does revere impure elements, but we also work to keep people safe. Of course, it only involves keeping people safe when doing so is a direct result of the missions we go on. We aren't peacekeepers. Why'd you kill everyone in the facility? Do you not have any remorse about it? Look, everyone in there, even if they had good intentions, were tampering with DNA. Do not alter. You know, that's what it stands for. Do I have remorse? Yeah. What kind of soldier doesn't have remorse about killing civilians? But I do my job, as grim as it sounds, and I stare at your dick the whole time while doing it. Why haven't you and other soldiers left yet? Well, normally I'd avoid telling you, but since you're talking to me, I'll tell you. And you're helping us, that helps. We haven't left yet because on searching the records of the facility, a test subject managed to escape during the attack. Naturally, we can't allow them to live as it would compromise the mission, and we don't know if anyone else might be looking for the subject. So, who are you? Oh, sorry, I've been so keen on getting you help, I forgot my name. I'm James Turner, private in the Shark Fin Platoon of the EIE. Okay. Right, brilliant. The first thing I'll tell you is that I don't need much help. The other men at the satellite station need it, though. I'll radio them in a little while to let them know you're on your way. And here, let me touch your beep bop on your pit boy. Ooh, my beep bops. Current duty of platoon shock fin. Mission report on shock fin. Oh my goodness, Jesus. All right, so their uh, job was to uh, basically erase all evidence. Mission report. Uh, they weren't expecting a bunch of civilians to beg for their lives and uh, slaughtering people. Even if what they were doing to get there was heinous, what they were doing wasn't necessarily malicious. So, uh, as well as that, so many of us have died in there. There are just five of us left now. So, lost a lot of people. The uh, intel they got was different, and uh, things are not going well. Yeah, anything else you need? Goodbye. What? Oh, oh see you. <laughs> Could you not blow this up? Like, I want to I wanna play some games on this. It'd be pretty fun. All right, see you later, buddy. Have a good day. I keep expecting that we're going to get ambushed. Thankfully, we have not. All right. This building, satellite station building. Anyone over here? Doors are locked up. Get some bananas. Let's head on upstairs. Huh. We get to go downstairs. New disguise. I'm now a handyman. Alright. If anyone asks, I am first class handyman. This error is being shown to you because an issue is encountered on the terminal that is severe enough to warrant a warning. In order to resolve this issue, access must be restored to the terminal. This is case. If this is the case and this causes a lockout, there are two potential solutions. Consult your local... Nope. Um, and for the manual... Uh, alternatively, if the situation is urgent, the satellite station can be accessed via the sewer tunnel underneath. A dialogue option will be presented on this terminal to unseal the bulkhead doors, securing the tunnels. Unleash the sewers. Mm, yes. Damn it. Well, I got a plunger. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Problem solved. Axeman is losing his ketchup. Sorry, Axeman. <laughs> Where are the sewers? I'd like to access the sewers. Hello, sewers. Ooh, look at this. I like the little bit of water on the bottom. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, hey guys. Two for one. No, zero for zero. Oh, man. Wow. There we go. Okay, you know what? You deserve to live. Just don't hit this barrel. There he goes. Live his life. Oh, your axe grew. Wait, no. Extra, extra. Bleed all about it. There you go, axe man. You found your mojo. All right, satellite station. Let's see what's down here real quick. Shove this friggin' barrel down here. No, I want to see what's in that. <laughs> Nothing. Hello. Now, just hold on. All right, we got a, got a message from Ham Radio a few minutes ago from James. Looks like you might be able to help us. Now, if you don't mind me following me, uh, we're going to see the lieutenant. Come on. Let's go, buddy. Ooh, Axe Man, we got new friends. I'm, ex I'm actually glad we're friends with the EIE now. Man, you run real quick. You're great, Joseph. Joseph, thank you so much. Get out of the way, Robert. Hello. I'm not talking to you, Robert. Emily, it's about time I got to meet you. You're very tenacious, aren't you? To go scouring the Mojave just to find us. Now, I know James said you were coming here to help us, but I have one thing to ask. What gave you the drive to find us? What was your motivation? Well, it's Friday. Uh, I came here to exterminate, came here to offer support. I'm here because of what you did to that facility in the South. Hmm. Uh, support, sure. Office support. That seems odd for someone you've just met, but I won't deny your help. We're in dire need of support here. Are you sure you're willing to help us? Yeah, I'll, I'll help. Great. Now, one reason why we're here in this satellite station is so we can complete our mission. In order to do that, we need to find the subject that escaped from the labs and deal with it. But to do that, we need the satellite to work. The only problem is the satellite isn't working. It's running on auxiliary power that's been drawn from the old power grid. You didn't happen to blow up anything, did you? You need to go underground to the generator area and restart the generator, which should get the satellite up and running. Any questions? I have a lot of questions. Um, what is the subject you need to deal with? Well, come to that once you've helped us out. Until then, I can't answer any mission-sensitive questions. I need you to know that I can trust me and you and my, and my parents and everybody. All right, what exactly caused the generator to stop working? Whilst we don't exactly know why, Robert seems to think because of the station being built on top of a water reservoir flooded it. Ask him about it if you want to know more about the flooding. Will I get any support? Support? Hmm. Well, Robert should help you in that case. Just tell him I told you that he needs to provide support. He'll follow you down there and do anything he can do to help. Why haven't you done this yourselves? Why haven't we? As you can tell, we're a bit thin on the ground in regards to soldiers, and you're here now, aren't you? Besides, I can't take the risk. God knows what could be down there. Just can't take the chance losing all my men down there. But you, you're expendable. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, then. Remember, when you walked in here and there was a utility door on your right? No. The generator's down there. Oh, and take this key. It should unlock the door. Could you hey. tell me? Hello. Who, who am I talking to? Robert? Robert Barker wants us to neuter our pets. All right, so... Oh, who's got the teddy bear? Who's got the teddy bear? Robert Barker. Oh, didn't know they let civvies in the place. What do you need? If you don't mind me asking, how do you feel about your mission? Oh, I do mind you asking. It's something I'd rather wouldn't discuss. Neither would my mustache. I know talking about it can be difficult, but doing that can make you feel better. Make you feel warm inside, Robert. Okay, then. <sighs> Fine. Mission was a disaster. It was supposed to be a simple exterminate the bad guys mission, but it was so much more than that. Me and the what's left over here killed people, not just people, but innocent ones. People who had families. Their methods may have been questionable, but their end goal wasn't. Usually when a threat isn't massively dangerous, we'll just report them. We'll report them to another authority, and they'll get arrested. I don't know what went wrong. Look, I don't want to talk about this anyway. And don't mention it to anyone. If they find out I'm getting soft, they'll boot me out for sure. And they'll probably kill me. Oh my goodness. Sorry, Robert. The lieutenant mentioned you uh, something about a water reservoir. 
Water reservoir? Oh yeah, I was doing a brief study of the plans of this place. Turns out this satellite was built on the foundations of one, so over the years I guess the water's flooded the generator, shutting it down. I also cross-referenced it with the info from the brief scouting we did in the Mojave. Turns out it's quite close to the Lake Lurk Nest. So you, or we, will probably encounter resistance down there. I'd be cautious. What's your name? My name? I'm surprised you even asked. My name's Robert Barker, and, uh, hey, thanks for asking. Oh, and if you need any healing, if you're injured, just ask me. As long as you got 50 caps, that's my limit. If you got anything less than that, I'm not doing a damn thing. Your lieutenant said you could help me? Oh, he did, did he? All right, then, if you want to follow me, just ask. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. If you want me to follow you, that's what he said. You want to follow me? Not the other way around, bud? What? Oh, all right, let's go. Whoa, whoa, Jesus Christ, Robert. Holy shit, man. It's a loose cannon. Please, loose cannon. Watch out, everyone. Robert's freaking out. Robert? Robert, you're waving that thing around. Jesus. All right, we're going to talk to everyone later on. For the time being, I got three missiles. And Robert does not know what it means to follow any firearm rules. <laughs> uh, he's gonna run. Okay, now he's a little bit better. Ooh, washing machine. Get our clothes done. Uh, oh, use key. The doors of the generator have opened for us. Satellite station generator room. Here we go. You feeling better? Feeling better, Robert? There you go. You look you're looking better. Very nice. Oh. I can hear them lake lurks. Laking their lives away. Get out of there, you sons of bitches. The mechanic's home. Oh yes. This is one red shirt that shoots back. <laughs> 